Hi there, so, so today we're going to draw a horror spider, but to get to that finished drawing, what we need to do is uh, some warm up sketches and trying to figure out like uh, a composition for this piece or you know the way that it's going to look. So I'm just going to do a series of quick sketches with a 6B pencil, so it should show up this time. <laughs> um, I'm just going to do small spiders. I'm not too bothered about getting the sort of legs right or anything like that because it's just quick sketches. Now to do a horror spider what I want to really do is lots of detail on the body and lots of um, yeah, like markings maybe or veins or something I don't know. Hairs and all sorts of details. They always have eight legs, so you'd got to try and fit them. I think the legs are the most important thing to learn how to draw on these horror spider, well, any spider drawings, really. Um, so I will be doing that, um, looking at drawing the legs properly when I come to the proper drawing. So the spiders could have, like, a pincer-type mouth like that. Um... Or maybe something else. I might just do another one here just to try and perhaps maybe has lots of teeth on the front instead. And then the legs. Yeah, the placement of the legs are important as well, so that's what I want to try and work out. Just to make sure it looks right. But on these quick sketches, it doesn't, you know. Well, it sort of does and doesn't, but, you know, you can work that out. Later, you can take your time on it, but... Um, Give him normal eyes like that, but they say you usually have eight eyes or something. <laughs> or I, I usually put eight eyes anywhere, but you know. Just add ears for now. Maybe have one facing this way. Try and sketch the legs in like that. Maybe do the other leg on that side there. exactly how our um, spider is going to look. I think we've got some vertical teeth going upwards, perhaps. And then maybe the eyes up here. Perhaps that could work. Yeah, that one's looking like the favourite. Although I do like that one as well. Um, and obviously, like, um, the setting is quite important in the background. Uh, so what, you know, just, just to remind me, like, webs and stuff. I've drawn this before. I did, like, a video where I drew, I think it was a real long video. It took me a while to upload. Um, I think it was about two hours drawing, like, a horror spider commission. Um... One of them commissions which I did, which uh, the the person like changed their mind, so I still have that drawing somewhere. It was a large A3 drawing, um, but I'll probably make a poster of that eventually. And that's ever since then I do. I, I always take a, like a deposit if someone wants a commission off me, or or I go through Fiverr 
um, which I've got a father video coming up which um, come back to doing father because um, it's like extra money so that's why I'm doing like commissions here and there so yeah this spider might be the one that I might do um, try and work out the mouth a bit more maybe it has lots of teeth on there I don't know yeah over the top teeth lots of teeth yeah maybe the one actually maybe and lots of um, disgusting like rotten veins and other stuff on the body perhaps almost looks demonic like a demonic spider yeah that'll fit so I think that's the one I'm gonna go for yeah so I never used to really sketch beforehand but I do it a lot lately because I need to work things out um, beforehand um, usually I just used to start off these videos drawing exactly and just hope for the best and <laughs> sometimes it didn't work out and um, especially some older videos that I've done on here they're really terrible but moving forward with these videos I've always best to do like a warm-up sketch uh, or a few warm-up sketches like I've done here little examples just to look back on and take your drawing from there so I'm probably gonna go with this um, perhaps I might lose them bits there I don't know I'll decide on the final drawing but yeah that's the one and um, we'll try and put it in a real good setting as well like the background but that'll come last I want to get the the spider drawn so I've got another piece of paper now uh, I've got that drawing to the side that's the one I want to focus on so I'm going to keep that to the side maybe cover up, cover up the other spiders because that's you know it's definitely that one that I want to do um, so yeah I'm going to start by drawing the body and I want it in that exactly the way I've sketched in that previous quick sketch as well uh, but it's going to fit most of this uh, but we need to work out I did say I didn't want them little pincer like mandibles on the front but that could change I might add them later I just need the like oval shape drawing it real rough for now because I know the legs have to be drawn in and they're as I said before the most important thing to draw on a spider start with the first leg you notice that it comes in like three sections you know you've got the bit there and then there and the last one's like a pincer so I'm just using that for all the legs and try and fit them in and just carry on until you've done four on this side start adding the legs on the other side try and match them up where they are you know on the other side there so to look sort of even you're not going to get it right first time I don't think um, as long as it looks okay then it's good to go really as long as you space them out as well like if you bunch them up too much they're gonna look uh, not too clever but there we go that's roughly I'll just draw the joints in because I'm gonna 
make them like into sort of armor later on like almost like armored legs if you know what i mean uh, it's just going to be like the head bit and the body bit that's going to look more organic the rest the legs are going to look like weird like armored legs <laughs> that's all i can say um yes yeah, so i did want all the teeth i quickly ma mark that in of teeth maybe a crowd of teeth maybe works there I don't know I don't know maybe them pincer things are gonna work a bit better I'll add them and then see if, see what it looks like Just sketch them in for now roughly it's don't matter if you get it right Just draw the eyes, and I, I always draw. I seem to draw like a central eye there, and then smaller eyes at the side. Maybe two under there, two there. Uh, I don't know. I'll do a different type of eye there. Hmm. Perhaps. Sell these teeth a bit. I like drawing lots of teeth. As always with these drawings, it, it looks way better when I start inking because um, then you can add, add all sorts of cool details that I always like to add. So I think right now the body looks a bit um, sort of like flat. I want to try and make it a bit more, um, a bit larger actually. So we'll try and add that. And try and add some like uh, other extra lines for like the detail. I was thinking of like like rotten textures and maybe a few veins here and there. Can't go wrong with a few veins and other details like that. Maybe a large bean on there. Maybe a lot round here is going to be shadowed. Maybe around the eyes so we can make them eyes stand out a bit more. So yeah, I'll just put a couple of X's there just to remind me when it comes to winking that that's going to be dark, that area. It's going to be dark in there. There's a couple of X's in there. So yeah, we've got our image of this horror spider. I'm happy with that. I think the legs look okay. I think, yeah, yeah. So I'll start inking this. I'm just going to use any old ink pens, whatever comes to mind. I've got a few of these cheap gel ink pens and maybe Sharpies. I'll start inking that. I'm going to wink the spider and then a bit of the background is going to be like webs and things like that. And we'll add a bit of colour to it as well. I'm going to use this Sharpie marker first, maybe do some thicker lines underneath again. a bit more rotten looking um, than I've done it there maybe 
extend it a bit. Just realise what I've done, I've drawn over a leg. <laughs> well, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> wipe that bit out anyway. These mistakes always happen. That's how you overcome them. Drawing like thicker lines and details just helps to add um, a beginning of like texture to this. You know, we want the rotten bits uh, to show up, but they come in time when you're adding like more ink over the top. So, just need to ink these are the lines. see there we're just just going underneath with this thicker pen and you can thicken these lines as well a bit more go over them a few times and on this section I want these little bits to be a bit more wobbly like that's like um, some kind of flesh underneath Maybe only on these because they're connected to all this rock, so I want that to be some kind of connection there. So, and also it'll help to cover that little mistake. <laughs> Crafty. Yeah, so we'll just try and ink these a bit more. top will just use like a, a thinner ink pen maybe the gel ink pen or something um, so I said a lot of this has to be dark so we'll add quite a lot of dark shadow around the eyes with this this sharpie marker might as well These are going to be the eyes, obviously. Um, that's looking more like a nose, but I don't want it to look like a nose. Um, so we'll probably give these like a green colour instead of a red. That's the danger sometimes we're putting of an eye right in the middle of the face, like that. It looks like a, a red nose or something. <laughs> This, this makes the eyes stand out a bit more by adding, you know, this shadow around them. Just have to be careful. Give the eyes real smooth looking lines if you can. Uh, not to go over the, you know, the lines. Starting to take shape, as I said. Like when you start to ink these drawings, they look start to look a lot better, and you can see them coming to life, sort of thing. So I don't want to go right up to the teeth there, because I want to maybe keep some little bits of white detail and stuff that I can contrast with white pen later on. You know, when I've near enough finished the drawing, maybe fill a bit of the black in what I can. I don't want to do too much, I might just do the centre because I may add some more smaller teeth at the sides, you know, to make it really um, sort of full of teeth. So yeah, I'll just add that bit there. Yeah, as I said, I'll 
like these underneath these fair sections that are like rotten. Mistake there, look how the rottenness seems to blend into the head. Yeah, intentional. <laughs> it's always good to try and make uh, cover up mistakes like in different inventive ways, whatever you can try and think of. You know, mistakes happen, you know, in any drawings. So you might as well try and work out ways to cover them up. That's as far as we'll go with Sharpie marker for now. I may come back and use it, I don't know. And start to use my trusty gel ink pen. Start to go over the teeth. Any gaps, I'm just going to draw an extra little tooth. Um, you know, there's little gaps here, so I'll just draw an extra tooth in there. Fill the mouth out a bit more with lots of teeth which is always a good idea you can never have too many teeth on these creatures quite enjoying this drawing actually it's good to draw stuff out of your head sometimes or make stuff up as you're going along so as I said there's teeth behind teeth and the side maybe extra teeth yeah so maybe these little pincer things that can so yeah as I was saying before I got cut off these these pincer teeth can maybe like move food into the mouth maybe they can where we got like, um, I don't know, bends in the thing there or something. And these are the pincer things. Probably filled with venom, I don't know. Just make it up as you go along. <laughs> anyway, back to the teeth. we can. Any gaps just add an extra tooth in there. Yeah. I'll just ink some lines for detail purposes. to it. Maybe sort this vein out a bit more.
Now I just want to wink these legs now, try and just sort these out a bit more. So we've got them there, and we're going to sort the other side of the legs out a bit more. There, last one. Yeah. So now we've got all the, the main elements sorted, we want to try and add more detail. Um, and this is where I add lots of detail so we'll move to a time lapse So I've added uh, quite a lot of detail there, uh, quite happy with that. Um, I'm still unsure whether to continue this rotten stuff through there. I may actually, I don't know. Um, but I might do that last, once I've added a bit of colour um, to this piece. So I'm just going to take a few Copic markers, just add a basic sort of layering of colour. I'm not going to erase any pencil lines, there's no point. This is more of a concept sketch rather than a finished illustration. So what I'm going to do is just get some ink pens. I 
think the warm greys are a lot better for these type of spider drawings. So I've got a warm grey five, I'm just going to add in a lot of the shadow areas where I've inked. Just try and add some darkness to it. And the colouring is the second best way of bringing life to your drawings after inking. I may go back over this, um, add some more details, particularly like in that black area. I need some whites to you know, balance it out, maybe some right reflective areas. We'll just wait and see what I can do. that I've added, like cross hatching or things like that, I'll just go over them areas. Quite like the colour in the stage, it's just uh, there's something about it. Put that pen away. I've got like a warm grey three, which is a uh, slightly lighter than the warm grey five, obviously. Get lighter and lighter. I think I'll go over the teeth with this grey. So you can always lighten them out later. And usually when you lighten things later, it's good to do it on like a dark colour. Not too dark otherwise, you know. as well yeah I'm thinking of doing like inclines on these legs just to match in with everything else uh, I don't know what I was thinking of sometimes you have good ideas and then sometimes it just don't work so it's best to I don't know, try and do what you intended in the first place sort of thing so I'll go over the eyes, but they're going to be like green coloured anyway, so. But you can tan them green anyway by just going over them anyway, so. I'm liking the grey colour. You can see it. See it a bit better there. Not too clear, but. Yeah. I'm just adding like a thin blue tint to these eyes before I turn them green. Because I want the underlying colour to be um, layered on these eyes and they'll stand out a bit more. I think that vertical eye there might be um, possibly green or I might 
give it more like of a yellow sort of look and it might stand out a bit better so I'll just uh, maybe colour that in a bit yellow just to remind me not to change it go over it with yellow and then the other eyes are just going to be green I'm not going to colour all the green, I'm just going to do certain sections of the eyes just around the eyes. Just like that. a bit of that yellow just to blend the middle bits and maybe where's the there it is I've got that white jelly roll as I said I was going to add like highlights try and connect it all a bit so it's so this dark mass doesn't look too you know dark and out of place so and you can draw like eyelid bits or wrinkles around the eyes as well so just all adds to it All oh, that's to the illusion of creating a drawing that you sort of seem to have planned, even though I just made it up as I went along. <laughs> but you see them lines around the outside just just help add something to it, you know. bits on one side of the eyes which you can't really notice you can notice on that eye um, I don't think you can notice on much on that bit but I was seeing like details anywhere and I need to darken around them teeth as well just to make it all dark in there and maybe just do that thing with the legs I'll probably do that uh, off camera come back to that and I'll show you uh, maybe just do a bit of background bits and here and there and yeah then we're done but that, it's, that's near enough it really um, just try and look at like spiders and uh, the way they look and just try and add extra bits to it like extra eyes or lots of teeth and just just try and make so it's now later in the evening uh, I've, I've managed to like um, continue inking the rest of the legs and adding the colouring and uh, just so it all matches up and it looks a lot a way a lot better so I don't know what I was thinking with that uh, I'm just gonna do um, I've got a cool grey 3 I'm gonna lay down some like web lines just underneath and I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on doing these web lines um, I can just add a suggestion of uh, web lines just to try and create the setting sort of thing some up here I may ink over these 
um, later on, but for now it just just creates creates the illusion of uh, webbing. So I think I'll just leave it there. Um, I could add more details and just go on and on and on, but um, for now, this drawing's done. Horror spider um, looks quite evil with the teeth. Um, I would have gone on and added like uh, white highlights to each tooth, but you know I can do that, um, or I can redraw this or add more to it as I, you know, go along. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now!